日明かりに舞い踊る美しき野獣ムーンライトキャットダンサーいや
Hello everybody and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So uh yeah, I look like dangers with a little uh dragon package. I'm not proud of that, but I couldn't think of any better first than to play. At least I used a good Dark Magician art. At the very least, I guess. Something is mostly a go second deck. It can easily okay and go through many, many interruptions. So let's go through card by card. Crimson Fox, 1-1 one, one Emerald Bird, Triple Kaleido, Check Double Martin, 1 Sheep, 1 Rabbit, Double Wolf. I'm playing 1 Fox uh, because, well, I, you just need one. You send it to the grave, you zero the attack of a monster, and you swing for game. That's basically it. Emerald Bird is also at 1. I found that at more, it kind of breaks. So both of the effects are once per turn. It's nice to pitch a monster and draw a card, so that's that's pretty nice. The triple Kaleido check, this is a monster that you want to summon the most. Then you can just pitch a monster from whatever. And go from there. Double Yellow Martin. So the thing is that most people uh, will have to play three of those. I decided to go with two. And the idea behind playing two Yellow Martin is that it's easy to get into the grave, make an Xyz, do any other place. I found that at three it just kind of breaks. So I think two is, uh, at least for me, the optimal um, number. Uh, one black sheep so we can search out polymerization and, well, Blue and light monsters. One white rabbit so we can recycle a monster from the grave and also clear some back row. And wolf because it's wolf and it's basically a engraved you know, blue light fusion. When talking about blue light fusion, here's the blue light fusion. It's a very decent uh, fusion spell. I would have liked it a bit more if I could have used all monsters from uh, the deck or the extra deck. But using one is still pretty decent. And Trouble Perfume, which is basically a monster reborn and a searcher when it's uh, banished from the graveyard. Triple good, so you can send the perfume to the graveyard and get a search from it. One tanky, because we can only play one tanky. And everything we have here is the Beast Warrior. One Polymerization, because Fusion Duck. One Serenade Dance, because it fetches a monster from the main deck when banished. Now, here's our danger package. We're playing dangers because we can cycle through them, do some more link plays, go into access code, unicorn, verte, etc. Double Nasi, one Chupacabra, double Mothman, one Jackalope, one Tsuchinoko. This is basically just a little concise danger package if you catch the drift. We're playing Chupacabra and Mothman because they're also level 4, so we can go into a rank 4 pool. And uh, while on top of the rank 4 pool, we have Armageddon Knight and Zephyros the Elite. So we can send something like a Yellow Martin uh, to the grave, or a Zephyros, go from there to some other place, maybe Link Climb, a rank 4 Xyz, that sort of thing. The Dragoon package. <laughs> I'm not proud of this one. I, I really am not. The fact that I had to play the Dragoon package to have any sort of first and play board. Uh, I'm not proud of this. I, I really am not. Next we have our standard hand trap combination. Triple Ash and Triple Impum. For the extra deck we have one Leo Dancer, double Saber Dancer, one Panther, one Dragoon, double Cat, one Baguska, one Dugaris, one Redoer, one Tornado Dragon, one Axis Kotoko, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, and one Verte. So, Leo Dancer is a pretty neat uh, field wipe. I really like it. Also, it can attack for very, very big, big damage. 
Saber Dancer is uh, really good, especially with Kaleido Check, since uh, you can just send it to the graveyard with Kaleido Check's effect to some fusion shenanigans, and then next turn, because it cannot, the engrave effect cannot be used uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to boost one of your fusions to even greater heights by merely 3,000 attack points. Uh, Panther Dancer is here because it's uh, a material for Leo Dancer. So it's a very decent Dragoon is here because of Dragoon. Uh, Cat Dancer is uh, mostly here because we can summon it uh, using the Lunalite Fusion and just fetch monsters from any of our Lunalite monsters from the deck, which is very neat. Baguska is here because it's Baguska, Dugaris is here for an additional extension, drop power, etc. You know the drill. Time P3 Doer is here because it's Time P3 Dua. Tornado Dragon is here to provide some back row destruction. Access Code Talker is. Uh, it's Access Code Talker. You don't need to talk about Access Code Talker much. Now we have Nightmare Unicorn and Phoenix. And last but not least, Verte Anaconda. Verte Anaconda is not only here for Red Eyes Fusion, but it's also for Lunalite Fusion. You can also prompt that to, to trigger, which, is, which I like very much. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I will see you all in the next one. Chikolos hang out. Peace!